Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we are still at the Guardian Farm. We've still got the giant rubber ducky on there, and I need to go empty some stuff out of my inventory because I've been busy lighting up some of the caves underneath. Uh, I did not get the storage work done that I had intended to, and oh, since I will need some black ink here soon, uh, let's go ahead and grab that too. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. All right, so uh, not much work got done here like I'd intended, but I got some of the caves lit up. Uh, if you look down this way a little bit, over there. Yeah, that hole right there, that leads to a whole bunch of caves. I got a fair amount of it lit up. Still need to take care of that guy right there. But that space, Reyes is going to do some more of the fog, like what she did under the main base. So uh, that will get lit and taken care of before too long. And uh, maybe we'll cover that up when we're done, too. Just so that way there's not light pouring out of this random hole in the ground. But uh, let me go. Let me go unload, and I need to pick up a couple of things from storage anyway. Um, I'm gonna grab some. Is it nighttime already? It's nighttime already. <laughs> of course. Every time I log into. Uh, every time I log into the server. All right. Uh, that can go to storage. That can go to storage. That can go. That can go. That can go. Those guys can go, and that can go for now. Uh, I'll hang on to that. I'll need some arrows, too. Yikes. And a nap. Alright, so what do I need? I need to grab... some droppers. If I were Ray asked, where would I put the droppers? There we go. And I knew we had a bunch left over. I don't need that many, but eh, I'll take them anyway. Uh, and I've got a bunch of hoppers already over there. Got a bunch of boxes already over there. I need some observers. I shouldn't need that many, but uh, we get the extra, so I'll grab them for now. And I'm going to need rail. Um, a mix of powered rail and potentially some activator rail and I should have everything else that I need I got plenty of redstone I'd have to craft up pistons no matter what alright we got those guys I got plenty of torches although Rather than worrying about crafting these guys up, let me just grab a mess load of comparators and repeaters. And I'm trying to be very careful not to leave a gap because we've got those items cycling through the system. And if you remember from when we built this, uh, this is one of those things that you will... Yeah, if you put an empty space there, something will fill it eventually. Uh, and, and that's not what we want in this case. Alright, so I got some comparators, repeaters, the rails, I got these guys. Um, I might need some more torches. Almost certainly don't need as much of those as I grabbed, but just the same. Um, oh. <laughs> I also started playing around with banners again. Planet Minecraft had uh, a little a way to get an Ender Dragon banner. There's that one and another one that I was thinking of putting together for rest since we got the TIE Fighter for Arcadius and the orange lightsaber for myself. Although since we all kind of color-coded our individual things, I might just go make a lightsaber of each uh, color for everybody too. I, I don't know what made me start playing with the banners, but I did. Uh, and in order to make the one that I'd like to do for Medic, I need... One more banner, banner pattern. Uh, somebody had already bought the globe from one of the villagers, which is awesome. I went and made the flower charge. And that creeper was a stroke of luck. I logged in at night, which is typical and stunk. But, you know, it is what it is. 
and there happened to be a lightning storm. And it was the one time I was very, very thankful that the field out by my starter shack of sadness uh, tends to spawn a fair number of creepers. So that was a stroke of luck. I'll take it. Uh, that was a bit more hard work because those guys, yeah, that, that's, that's no fun. No bueno. Um, oh, and, uh, so playing with some of the different designs, may, maybe I ought to just put this as a, uh, placeholder for, uh, Medic there. There you go, buddy. Have a cookie. <laughs> I'll leave that for now. Uh, let me make sure everything's done cycling through the system. All right, that lights off. That's the last step before everything's done, so everything should be good to go. Uh, our overflow is, well, starting to overflow, too. Uh, good thing we got a little extra storage over there. And I have no idea what's up with those. All right, so as you can tell, the ADD is a little strong today. Um... It's been, uh, let's call it an interesting day. Yeah, we'll say an interesting day. Um, mostly mostly because, uh, you know, the tire pressure sensor was a little low. So I figured, all right, you know, change in weather, storm rolling in, yeah, that kind of thing. And, um, and sometimes the, the pressure drops as a result of that. Okay, whatever. Oh my, look at all the fish. I was ever wanting for fish. All right, not right now. So, uh, you know, I figure, all right, I'll uh, see if it's still low when, when I when I get done with work. And if it is, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop by somewhere and top off all the tires. Well, I got to work fine. It seemed like it was fine. But by lunchtime, one of my coworkers was like, dude, you, uh, you know you get a flat, right? Like, oh, no, I didn't know that. But now I do. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was one of those days. All right. Um, oh, bother. I forgot. Uh, I, I was going to grab some iron blocks because I'm going to need a bunch of junk blocks for, uh, for building with over here. And I think I know what I want to do differently on this side instead of continuing to poke into the ceiling and fuss with that um, I got an idea for something a little different just a little bit uh, it solves a couple of issues that I was trying to figure out how to work around and yeah and it'll be a little bit creative it'll be a little bit different something uh, different than what we've done but let me go grab a, I need some trash blocks and we have uh, a frightening amount of iron like that dealing with our overabundance of iron is on my short list of things to do when I have time uh, that uh yeah Oop. I don't know if I want to turn the farm off or expand the storage when I built the building originally I had built it such that I could keep wrapping the storage around. So in other words, uh, the original thought was once we started, where did, Never mind. I don't want to know. Kind of makes me wonder what else is stuck in here. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so the idea was once this started getting to that last row, I'd just knock out this wall here and wrap the storage around a little bit. Um, but I don't know, man, that, uh, I don't know if that's what I want to do, because that is a lot of iron and throwing more storage at it just means that's a lot more iron. Like, I, I seriously wonder if we could turn that off and coast the rest of the season on what we have right now. Oh, I say that, and then I'm probably going to undertake some project, in which case I'm going to need, like, massive tons of iron. So, I don't know. Two, three. Um, 
Let's grab those guys. Break them up into blocks. And let's grab another row. Craft them up into some blocks. And it's not like I don't know where I need to go. If I run into more. Although my OCD is kind of... There we go. All right, there we go. Let's pack back up right. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. So... Let me uh, let me put that string away before I forget. And oh, there we go. All right, now let's head back to uh, let's head back to the Guardian Farm and go do a little work on the redstone there. Um, yeah, I think part of the part of what's made this a little bit of a struggle is I haven't I don't have a clear vision for the storage or for the room, although I'm starting to get a better idea what I'd like to do with both. I'm really thinking that for the room itself, I'd like to do something along the lines of what Arcadius did in Season Zero. In other words, uh, rip this floor down two blocks and put some sort of design and then a layer of glass on top. Uh, there's a part of me that would love to do the fog effect, but we're too low. There's not enough room to, to do the fog under the, uh, the, the bedrock. Although that is always an option too. Um, one of the other things that I'm not sure I want to do is I'm not sure if I want to go with the indicator lights. That was my initial thought, was to put up those indicator lights, and, uh, sorry. I'm gonna need one of those, and one of those. And keep that tucked away. That should be, yep, oh. <laughs> okay, I did leave some iron over here, along with a few other things. Let's, uh, put those up there. Toss those in there for the moment. And let's get us an ender chest, some storage, grab my redstone components and resources. I feel like I'm missing something. All right, we'll figure it out. Oh, the glass. Did I leave? Okay, no, I left the stained glass in there. Good. All right, let me, uh, let's clear up some of this. Let's clear that for now. And... Yeah, I might clear that up later. I might not worry about it. Oh. Oh, good to remember that I got the fortune pick out. <laughs> that that could have been bad if I went to go pick up the, <laughs> the ender chest with uh, the fortune pick. Um, I've been trying to use the fortune pick a little more. Because... Uh, Reyes has rather pointedly commented on how low we are on cobblestone. And I usually use the uh, silk touch pick as my walking around equipment. Get a little light over here. There we go. Okay. And, uh, yeah. It wouldn't be the first time that I've accidentally ruined an ender chest by forgetting that it was my <laughs> my fortune pick that I happen to have handy. Yikes. I might plaster some of that back in with the regular brick depending on uh depending on how compulsory I'm feeling. What I would like to do I'm gonna take uh, I'm here's what I'm planning on doing instead of having the sorting system up at the top like usual I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is run this on the ground down here run it maybe back this way and then have it sort out so that items that fit the storage unit go into a bubble column up 
here or maybe up here yeah the bubble column would be up here and then a glass wall would be right here and then fill it up and in, into the storage system here the question is all right so i need to know how much further back i need to bring this and i need to know how much room i need for the lamps so you know what that that might be what i do first is i might take care of the lamps first that way i'll know how far back i need to get storage uh yeah yeah lamps first then this because all I got to do is have it spit the item into a water stream that goes this way over some soul sand. And yeah, so I don't need to worry about redstone close to here. All the redstone can be back a ways a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that works. I'll probably have to dig this wall back a few more blocks. Oh, thunderstorm again. <laughs> Wonder if I should go looking for some more uh, church creeper heads. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that was. Let's call it not fun. That that, that was not a fun experience. I, I'm okay to not never ever do that again. Yeah. Well, what I don't know though is if I'm gonna need to raise that up a little bit. Maybe I can keep that rolling down and then just have it pop up from further under here. So instead of the soul stand being there, have it uh, up just a little bit further. And let me grab uh, some stone just so that way I got it for patching up things like that. And I may patch up that roof depending on uh, <laughs> how particular I'm planning on being. All right, the other thing is, okay, so we got shards, crystals, no, shards, shards, crystals, crystals, cod, overflow, overflow, and then I'm going to need some sort of trash at the end. Um, matter of fact, what I really need to do is... Shards, shards, crystals, crystals. And then I'll have the cod. I need to get the cod set up so that way once that last one is full, it then goes into some sort of a uh, trash. Oh. That's not going to be overflow. That's a... Uh, ooh. Glad, glad I walked through this. Uh, <laughs> glad I walked through this live uh, before I started building again because I just realized that if I did the original plan. So let's say, all right. So we got our items coming through here. It's a shard. It goes up. It goes in there. I'm not going to be able to do the second shard easily because once that is it. There's no way for the uh, filtering portion of the system to know that side is full. Unless I pull some sort of a signal and lock it. Um, hmm. That. Maybe I am going to have to put the sorting system up there and just suck it up and have to dig through the roof. Um, yeah. Yeah, I might have to do that. Doggone it. I was hoping to do something a little different. Um, I kind of like the ideas of items uh, popping, up, <laughs> popping up and floating out. Uh, that doesn't change some of the other stuff, though, because I, need, I need room for for the lamp redstone. So whatever way I get it in there, uh, via the floor or up on top, I need to know how much room I need for uh, 
for the lamp redstone. So let's do that. I'm going to need comparators, repeaters, and some junk blocks. And the basic idea is that I'm going to go and use junk blocks anywhere I don't want to accidentally break it. Alright, so when that box is full and this starts backing up, it's going to light up. It's going to power this block, which will light this lamp. And then the next one was something that got us there. a brainstorm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Cause that was going to be I need the comparator out no matter what. I'm gonna need the block it goes into. I could probably just run dust like that. Oh, because I'd need a repeater there anyway. Is there any way to do that a little tighter? No, I don't think there is. That's uh that's probably about as packed as it's gonna get. Alright, let me go grab some dust. Do I have... I'm about to. I guess it is a good thing that I got my fortune pick out. There we go. Dust. More than enough. Alright, so we do that. So, when that second box fills up, and starts backing into that hopper. It's going to pull a signal, power that block. This is going to pull the power from that block and repeat it on into here, lighting that lamp. And then it's pretty much a repeat of that sort of thing, because that's the second one. And then this one's going to be a repeat of that. And then this next one. Yeah. That's going to go there. I'm pulling the signal off of here. I'm going to put it in that block there. All right. Yeah. And then I'm going to need a repeater. I don't need a shovel for right now. Uh, I'm going to need a repeater here. And we got blocks coming this way. We're going to need some dust and dust. And a repeater into there. And then we just need to repeat this <laughs> a few more times. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That first one goes straight across. The second one loops around. That third one goes straight across. And that fourth one loops around. And these are only four high. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. All right. That, uh... Man, that takes up a lot of space. So maybe I am back up to my original idea. And then run... I can tear up a lot more space up there. It's not... We, we got plenty of room up there. It's a pain to dig out, but I can, I can dig that out. Um, and then run all the, all the redstone for the sorting up there. And that means I'm going to have to pull this out anyway. So leave it here. 
shoot it straight up, run it back up there, which gives me the turn I needed for the filtration system anyway. Right? Maybe? No. Um. All right, I can make this turn. Elevate it up. No. Ah, anyway, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. All right, let's uh pick this up, put that there. That way, I don't accidentally dig it up. Uh, I did do that over here, right? I can't even see inside my own redstone. Yeah, no, no, no. Of course I did. Of course I did. All right, so there that goes. There that goes. And then we go boom. And that goes there. That goes there. And we're going repeater. Nope. Nope. Repeater. Dust, dust, and we're gonna get an iron block on top of that guy, an iron block right there, and a comparator, and then iron block, comparator. block. There we go. Uh, jump. Okay. There we go. Even with the jump boost, I wasn't quite enough. Repeater, repeater, dust, dust. So the first guy is going across, second one is looping around, third guy is going across, and fourth guy is looping around. And there we go. Ooh. Um. I should really be lighting this up too. I kind of wish. I kind of wish. Well. You can't really power a glass block, which would make it spawn proof. I could probably go get some carpet. That would solve some of that. Um, you can't power glowstone. But you can power pumpkin. So I could go make some jack-o'-lanterns. And that would provide lighting as well as... Uh, is one of the things that I forgot is I really do want to keep the light level um, inside the redstone a little bit higher because the fewer lighting updates you need, the better the performance for your server. So by putting a light source there, that means when that redstone lights up from being powered, it, uh, hey, you made it. So when that uh, light source... Oh, so when the redstone lights up from uh, being powered, it uh, doesn't trigger a lighting update if you've got all that stuff squared away. Makes sense? Yes? No? Kind of? Sort of? Maybe? Don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. So there's two. I need to go... Make up a bunch more torches, get the rest of these guys situated. Well, that's what I had that for anyway. Let's put that there for now. And et voila, we got some torches. Put those away, put that away for the moment. That's got to be neat. <laughs> Why? I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, while I'm over here, let me grab the 
other stack of iron blocks. Put that hopper away real quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna have to knock that wall back to make room for the redstone. Uh, or dig it up in the ceiling and then drop it down. Maybe have one, yeah, okay. Um, so have one sorter here and then just have it pass from here to there. Hmm, I'll have to keep thinking about that. All right, back to work we go. And we get a like a so, like a so. Uh, repetitive work is repetitive. <laughs> Uh, this is this is where this kind of stuff gets um, call it interesting because it's very easy to get kind of distracted by the repetitive nature of what you're doing and start messing stuff up because you're not really paying attention. Oh, there we go, and we're going like so. Like so. And we go there. Yeah. It would be kind of nice to dye iron blocks. Well, I don't... Uh, yeah, no. I, I'm in favor of coloring ju just about anything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that is a... That is a unique texture. Uh, you can anodize various iron or metallic items. I, I guess the the big question would be, what happens when you reach that point that uh, you go to make the iron block yellow? Because if you start if you start making dyeable iron blocks, you, you got to make it all the colors, all the colors of the rainbow, and. Maybe I should have grabbed more comparators. All right. Uh, I think I'm, yeah. I'm going to need more of those. All right. We'll see what we got in storage. And then uh, if I need to, I'll make up some more. Because I forgot just how many comparators these guys took to get the uh, lighting system. But anyway, yeah. Uh... Arcadius is in the uh, room of requirement, and Reyest is at work. So uh, Rhea, they, they they both should be on before too long. Although it depends on when Reyest gets done. Sometimes. <laughs> Working retail is not always the uh, the most joyous. <laughs> Sometimes working retail is very special. All right, so there that is, and then we're gonna block block. Get the comparator going out here. And the block there, and the block there. So we'll go repeater, repeater, dust, dust, and throw some torches. Light that up. So far, so good. We got across, looping around, across, looping around. Oof. Three more to go. Yeah. Because the original plan was to run just a standard standard setup over this way. Hmm. I don't have to think about it. 
about that. Because I'm also not sure if uh, if the standard bit would fit. But the earlier I was thinking, instead of run, elevating it and then running all the item sorters across the top, leave the water path this way, run the item sorters back here in the ground, and then just run it to a stream to pop it up here. But the problem is, how do I know that this is full and to start filling this one up, if the immediate feedback of that hopper being full isn't available to the system. Um, Cause I don't really have another place that I could take a, an input from. I mean, I, I could probably put maybe another hopper up top. Oof. Okay, I'll let them know. 10 years with the same phone though. You know I need to give you a hard time about that. I'm contractually obligated. <laughs> Alright, and like so. Ooh. Yeah, it's time. If you haven't already, the Pixel 3a is a wonderful phone for the money. Um, it is not the most powerful phone in the world, but it will definitely last to the next, uh, you know, three to five years. It, it ooh, I'm probably gonna need that redstone before this is out. Um, it, it's definitely, definitely a solid phone. The only time I really noticed the the performance difference between a three and a three and the three A is when I pull up the camera to take photos or something that is like super you know pricey. Yeah, the four XL is nice too, and uh, they're supposed to have a four A to be a little more budget conscious if that's uh, if that's your jam. Yeah, the Galaxy S10 is pretty good, too. Uh, I I kind of miss that Motorola dropped out of the stock Android bit. Uh, because, because I really... I prefer phones that have unmodified Android. You know, just as Google intended. Um, that that, <laughs> that kind of deal. And uh, Samsung... They, they just modify it a tad a tad more than I'm comfortable with but that is it that's personal quirk that is a personal preference so you know take that for what it is All right. yeah, I, I'm sitting here looking at the fact that my I've got two tablets that are on their last legs. I'm not going to replace them both. I've got a Surface Pro 4 that I've had for some time now. And it was great when I was work doing a lot of, you know, mobile computing kind of stuff, doing programming from wherever I happen to be, uh, teaching classes all over the place. Yeah, Samsung's a good brain to stick with. Uh, Motorola used to be. I, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, well, I mean, besides the fact that Google bought them and then sold them. Um, <laughs> and uh, HTC used to be a really good one, but they they kind of they they kind of lost out. It, it's we're at that phase where the number of handset manufacturers is going to be dwindling. Just expect that it's going to it's going to happen um, in no small part because well uh, there, there's only but so much room for different phone companies different phone manufacturers uh, we saw it in the PC space you know those of <laughs> those of us who have been around the computer industry for some years will remember Titans like Compaq and Gateway. 
and uh you know so as, as time as as time got on uh you know it, it's pretty much dell hp and toshiba <laughs> and every other brand is owned by one of those three uh and maybe a few boutiques here and there but uh pretty much everybody of consequence is owned by one of those three yeah you know uh, I wonder how many people remember the whole dude. You're getting a Dell. Uh, <laughs> I I remember when uh, the, the the city I used to live in had a gateway, and that was the thing that, that they had their own shops. I mean, you know, people talk about Apple stores like it's some great new thing. Yeah, the gateway cow. Like, Gateway was running custom shops long before that was a twinkle in Apple's eye. And, uh, oh yeah. Good times. Good times. Alright, uh, let me not lose track of what I'm doing here. That goes there, that goes there. And this block is gonna go there bam bam there we go yeah I might come back and fill some of these uh, replace some of these lights with sea lanterns later when uh, we have an overabundance of sea lanterns because <laughs> that is the plan with this farm I, I mean I am hoping that we're gonna need four double chests of shards and four double chests of crystals um before all is said and done. Yeah, no, we all need sea lanterns. We all need lots. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, that, that is the goal, at least. I don't know that any of us are going to do much work with Prismarine this season. Although Arcadius has incorporated a fair amount of it into his uh, current base. So I don't know. Some something may may come of that yet. Um, okay, so that guy's done. But yeah, we all need sea lanterns. Like I would absolutely love to have sea lanterns for the lighting project that I've been on, getting the the lights around the caves in this area, so that farm will work better. Uh, by the by, we might need to do another lighting stream when one day when all four of us are available. Because um, there'd be some caves back there. <laughs> and it's going to be scary. What do you mean, not it? I, I, I fixed the player graves. Mostly. Sort of. Pretty much. But yeah, uh, I've done some lighting, and that should help, but I don't think we're going to get quite the rates that uh, that I'd advertised when I popped this chart up. For those of you that, that didn't quite catch uh, last week's stream, top left was the original flow design, top right was after some lighting changes, and the bottom center was um, when I added the lighting changes and a change to... Uh, to, to the flushing system that flushed all the guardians into the the kill chamber so uh, I, I I suspect that those rates will get even better if we light it up better but uh, I, I did not light it up as good as it could have been um, just because I was mostly get trying to get a rough sense I this this is not the uh, the the German precision of um, certain Minecrafters whom I love and love to watch but uh yeah and there we go done okay so that one's going across that one is looping around that one is going across and that one is looping around and that's all four Oh, and light. Lots of light. 
But yeah, I wouldn't mind throwing some sea lanterns in there and getting these torches up off the ground just so that way if some something springs a leak, it'll uh, cut down. <laughs> Uh, almost time for you to come and decorate. Uh, you probably missed it earlier, but one of the things that I was thinking of is um, something similar to what Arcadius did in Season Zero. And for the hallway, the floor, um, bring this floor down two blocks, put in the decoration, and then cover it with a glass top. So that way the glass makes it non-spawnable so you can be a little more creative with the lighting and you don't have to be uh, as special with it or trying to figure out how to hide it. Um, you, you can get enough light that you can find your way around and it's not like, you know, tripping over Jabba in the dark or something. Um, and the glass will keep it spawn-proof. And it, it'll free up a little bit more... Uh, opportunities for creativity to have a glass floor in. But that was just a thought. Uh, again, uh, th there's a reason why I'm not the one who does most of the decoration. I, I just make the things work. <laughs> I Although, I, I say that, and I really do, I do need to work on uh, the design aspect. I, I can't keep... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, and carpet. Lots of carpet. That is always an option. I will have to go over the storage area at some point. All right. Um, that goes on top of there. That goes up there. Uh, we go one, two, oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of decorating in the dark unless, well, if it's done right, if it's done well, if it makes makes sense. Um, you know, I did I did a, a fair amount of lighting in my base in season zero, but I also made sure that the floor was made of nothing but bottom slabs, so that way I didn't have to worry about uh stuff spawning and especially since the the 1.15 uh we've had those weird issues with the random things just kind of spawning out of nowhere it, it probably would behoove us to uh to um complete a thought uh <laughs> to ha to have it set up so that way uh that that way we're, we're okay if uh lighting glitches or that sort of thing. All right, let's uh, get that. Wow, I thought I'd actually picked up more diorite than that. All right, we'll hang on to that for the moment. All right, so we got the lights hooked up. Still got to figure out how we want to do this part. So we got the items coming off of here, okay. Um, Probably should grab another dropper and put it on top of that hopper there. I don't remember why I left that uncovered. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I remember why. In case I needed to access that hopper for troubleshooting. We don't need to do that anymore, so we can put that there. Yeah. Because the droppers are immovable objects, so they won't stick to the honey blocks. And by putting the droppers on top of those hoppers, that'll cut down on the lag. That way, the only hoppers that are exposed with no inventory item above it are the four in the collection area. Um, and everything else should have... Uh, could have a dropper on top of it or something with an inventory 
So now the question is, do I bring the... Do I go with the original plan and just knock out the ceiling a little bit more? Do my standard sorting system up top and then uh, drop it down? Or... Well... Hmm... I could have one sorter back here. Go... Up... A water flow, and then have a Y of hoppers in the back. That is a little more elaborate. That is not the uh, the most efficient. But I wonder if I can make that look pretty anyway. So, have one there for the two shards. One there for the two crystals. Uh, and then... I wouldn't need any more from that. But again, we come back to the problem of... How do I let the hopper back here know... How do I let the system, the filter system, know that that, that is full? How do I let that know that that is full? Because normally what happens is... Yeah, so that fills up, that fills up, that fills up, that fills up, and then the one facing funky where the filter is starts filling up. And it gets to the point that nothing will drop into the hopper until you start pulling stuff out, and then, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, everything all drains down. Um, so it kind of has a natural fill. Hey, there's Arcadius. Hello. Medic says hi. His phone's busted. He hasn't been ignoring you. Ah, oh, it's all good. I saw his message. Okay, let's see here. Time to sleep. Oh, is it? Really? I, I've been down <laughs> in the dark all this time. <laughs> so do we have the feed system up top set or what? Um, not yet. What have you been working on, man? Jeez. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Gonna log I see you've got this nice little uh, range of hopper madness going on down there, but uh, what good does that do you if you got nothing dropping into it? Well, because I didn't want to work on that part until I had some place for it to go. Because the last <laughs> thing I need is shards and stuff piling up here while I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> I don't see where the problem in that is, honestly. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, okay. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. Your squishy things are in here. Do we have a slime in here, or is that you dropping blocks off? Um, there is a slime chunk in here somewhere. So, And there are some caves up above us that uh, are probably spawning slimes. Uh, one of the things we will need to do is figure out which chunks are the slime chunks. So that way we can carpet them uh, and keep them from uh, spawning in. Because I, I completely forgot about that and that is going to cut down on our uh, spawn rates for the guardians. <laughs> I mean, there's a part of me that almost wants to turn it into a get a slime farm over here so that way you can sit here AFK, get slimes and guardian stuff don't we have a slime farm yeah but that's way over where medic's old base was like it's more than two rockets away in the nether i mean come on uh it depends do you do you actually <laughs> carpet everything <laughs> or glass <laughs> oh goodness well, I mean, glass we can get from the village of trading. Huh? <laughs> he says carpet everything. I said, goodness yeah. gracious, yeah. he's turning into Ray Estonis. <laughs> anyway, you were saying? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I'm tired, man. <laughs> 
Oh, did you find the slime? Slime. <laughs> yeah, because I'm probably going to need some uh, sticky pistons here soon. <laughs> Maybe. Because uh, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Be the rubber ducky. No, the rubber ducky is up, uh, up top. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> did, you, did you see medic in chat? <laughs> I need thirty-five hundred shulkers of carpet. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah. Um, well. Uh, so about that end raid we were going to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. we do need to do that too. We do need to do that too. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Okay. If I knew that, I'd be doing it. Uh, the question is, do I go with the original plan and start putting filter systems up top, which means I'm going to need to tear down a lot more roof to make space? Okay. Or... Or do I push these walls back a little bit and run the filtration system in the floor and then run items up here into a water elevator up to the top? The only problem with that is I have no way to let the filtration system know, or no way that I can think of at the moment to let the filtration system know that the last box is full and it should send items into the overflow. Um... And I don't want stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff despawning up near the top. That That is not good for the server. Hey, well, how about this? We Could you water elevator it here, push it across the top of all these hoppers, and anything that makes it to the end just goes straight into lava? You, you missed the whole... Never mind. I appreciate the help. Uh, go go, go! find the slime chunks and carpet them or glass them or do something with them. Half slime. Them. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. So the real question is, do you want to push the wall back or do you want to push the ceiling up? Yeah. That's, that's really just yeah. a question to you at that point. I'll help you do either one, but it's whatever is going to be easier for you. Uh, neither one's going to be easy. And I... I wouldn't mind doing something a little different too, because uh, we, we've already we've built the standard bulk storage a number of times now. I, I'd like to try something different. I just I don't know. Out of curiosity, yeah, what I, is? No, no, no. I, well, no, no. Uh, medic, uh, actually, since everything I need would still be behind this line here anyway, no matter what, um, and you would have free reign to decorate from even with the boxes on forward. So whatever ceiling goes up will go up behind that line of where the boxes is. A any, and obviously anything in the floor will go back behind the boxes. So uh, you will have free reign to put a border around the boxes either way. So de decoration is not going to be an issue one way or the other. Um... Unless I had some sort of return that... Oh, Do we really need option. that kind of storage? Two boxes for... Or two towers for shards. Two towers for crystals. One for the cod. Two for overflow. Um, Only the raw cod. The kind that you can trade with villagers. towers? Because there's going to be a couple of fishermen over here. To two towers? Yeah. Do you One think tower? it's actually going to be left Two here? Tower. Uh, I saw our farm the last time. Yeah, for the most part, it got emptied pretty quick. Everybody wanted lanterns like nobody's business. <laughs> and this is overkill. I'm saying it's what overkill. Is this, what is this overkill of what you speak? Be gone. Fetch me a golden carrot. No, kidding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, all right. So I'm wondering if I push this back, let the stream come back and then across and then have a filter that pushes it up and over here and maybe let it flow back and down if that's full. So in other words, if the hopper doesn't pick it up, it'll flow past the hopper and then back down into the stream to go to the next one. That without messing up your redstone? Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. I just want to do something different. Um... Okay. I got this. Uh, we need to push the walls back. Five, six blocks. Mm -hmm. Just the ones behind the, the storage. Le leave where the workstation is alone. Like here? Uh, here? Yeah. Yeah, back about five or six blocks. Probably gonna regret saying this, but five might be enough. Yeah, I'll just do the extra one. Not like it's that big an issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah, th there there is that part of it too, where it's like it, it's not like we're gonna go. Oh no, we have extra space hiding behind the redstone. Oh, for shame! It, it won't require an ender pearl and some creative yoga to get behind the redstone to work on it. Uh, <laughs> creative yoga. <laughs> Some trapdoor magic and junk. Yeah. I like gold. Mm. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so I know I know medics probably are I deeply suspect that you and Medic are gonna be like vying for first AFK once this is done. Cause I know you guys um. both want Tons of uh, sea lanterns. And I gotta tell you, if neither one of you is there, I'm gonna be AFKing as soon as this is ready to start receiving items. Actually, I'll be more than happy to do the AFK for you. Uh, I don't even want the sea lanterns. No. I want the bricks. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's right, because you still need more bricks, don't you? That, that's all I need. <laughs> really? <laughs> you, you don't need lanterns to see if you have the entire area covered in... Uh, Oh, that's uh, right, you got the water in the conduit. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but still, uh, it might be nice to throw some accent light in there somewhere. No, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that but I know you. you you're, you're, you're not. You're not. You're not opposed to throwing that. Uh, throwing that on AFK when you leave for work and. You know, checking out the inventory when you get back. I've been known to do it too, so <laughs> I believe me, I am not throwing stones on that one. <laughs> like Matter of fact, there have been something. a couple of days that I kind of forgot about it. So I logged in, left at AFK at the witch farm or something, and then, uh, you know, just forgot about things. Left life, uh, very interesting. <laughs> Has anybody been to the witch farm in a while? Uh, I was out there not too long ago. I keep playing with the idea of just revamping it completely. What do you mean by revamping it? What, uh, what's got you kind of... Yeah. Um, some of the... 
some of the design choices I made. One, it was early. I mean, I did that in like the first yeah. week, I think. Yeah, so we weren't exactly so, over overflowing with resources. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's built out of, <laughs> of all things cobblestone. Um, so that that one has me a little. Rustic look. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I, I could see. Yeah, changing uh, changing some of the build materials. But is it the mechanics itself or just the uh, visual appeal? Uh, one for the visual appeal. Two, it is the mechanics. I don't like where some of the stuff is set up. Um, it comes back to you can get better rates killing it yourself. And if you're going to be there anyway, you know, as much as I, I hate uh, to do it, just throw in a clicker and you know what? Mm. <laughs> get the Get the better loot. <laughs> Yeah. Or again, I mean, we've uh, we got the mechanics worked out that you could you could set up a similar catch system like this where it it's enough of a fall to kill them if you got the soul sand up and oh, and then uh, and then not if not. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, again, it's 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 mostly just that. Yeah. So, and actually, we, we get now, so now little think about it, out there. You could probably set it up so that way the soul sand was a retractable block above the uh, minecart entity cramming. So, in other words, uh, they land on the soul sand. If you want to be there and manually kill, and then you retract the soul sand if you want them to just die from the normal entity cramming. Because I know you can't do the um, the magma cubes and get them to fall back that way because they'll drink a fire resistance potion. Um, to that end, can't can't move those entities so how would I move them around with entities there what do you mean I can't move those 24 uh, carts can I they, they're pretty much stuck no. there right no that's why I said you put the soul sand above it that way the carts can pull the loot through the soul sand hmm thinking about that one, aren't you? Um, I'm trying to, because I don't think any of those... I would have to replace one of those carts, because none of those carts are actual hopper mine carts. They're just carts. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, still. Yeah, so you throw one more cart down. That's a hopper mine cart. Yeah. <laughs> Says the person who got mad that I threw down 24 carts to begin with. <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is your random stuff box here. Well, it is now. There you go. Oh, are you talking about <clears throat> the, the crate or the shulker box? I just tossed it in the shulker box. I didn't even see no, the chest No, not in the there. shulker box. <laughs> Into the chest. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. <laughs> uh, just making your day interesting, that's all. Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> oh, I heard you had a flat elytra today. Yeah. yeah. I already went into that in the beginning of the stream. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Okay. No. Moving right along. Uh, I, I am I am more than moderately concerned that I might not be able to get to work tomorrow. At least I got that appointment over at uh, the auto shop for the inspection anyway. So uh, I, I might just be um, pumping up just enough air to get over to the shop and, <laughs> and going uh, about that appointment. Do I just need to leave it here all day, or, or or can I have it early? 
Oh, well, there's this place right next to there called a uh, a bagel place. Um, yeah, but are they by are they open again? Chance. Well, for takeout, I mean, you can't sit in there. Yeah, no, I kind of, I kind of figured that. I wasn't going to sit in there anyway. Because if I'm, <laughs> I'm going mean, to be here, I got a nice, comfy couch to sit on. <laughs> exactly, but I mean, like, if you're going to be walking by anyway, I mean, you know. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I see, I see how this is going. I see how this is going. All right, all right, I'm tracking now. I'm tracking now. <laughs> you're, you're running on gas now, is this? <laughs> Uh, well, somebody said they were going to make coffee, and then they disappeared into the room of requirement. Uh, yeah, well, that happens when you eat what I eat. <laughs> yeah. Chili. Uh, mm. Oh, oh my. That, uh, there's lava right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I didn't go back seven. I just went six. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only said five or six anyway. I don't know why you yeah, heard I seven. Know. I didn't hear seven, but I stopped because I ran into lava anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't go down either if I were you. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, make, make sure uh, make sure medics taking notes on the fact that uh, there, there there's a lot of lava. Be be careful where you're digging and decorating. Like I know that hallway is uh, one block away from death. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. no. I completely just, like, was <laughs> not my problem. Someone else have to do this. <laughs> so when I made the entrance and exit, I was just like, meh, throw up stone, it's fine. Someone else can play uh, Russian roulette over here. <laughs> You're welcome, medic. <laughs> Ooh, you just want to make a lava floor and uh, throw a glass top on top of it? <laughs> <laughs> glass hallway <laughs> oh man I gotta start figuring out what I'm gonna do for the next games revisited too cause um Ooh, that I've, is probably got, up, I've got this week and may, one maybe two more Depends on depends on how long it takes to manage a couple of a couple of areas. Mm. Well, I guess that comes back to the other question. Oh, but, is uh, that why you stopped uh, go, going quite so high up? Mm. No. Mm. Okay. Oh, do I still need to install that game or? Did you find some other route you wanted to do? Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, definitely install it. Because uh, I, I forgot about that part, too. Uh, okay. Dude, you, you don't want to go further back. You don't want to take this one row? Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> nah, I, I think we're good. <laughs> good right there. Good right there. Oop, wrong box. There you go. Um. <laughs> Grab a few more boxes. <laughs> I'll just take out all the valuable stuff and put it in the junk. That's all. What? Out of, oh, out of there. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. You got it. There you go. This you want to run that back to community storage. Some of that. Nah, we're good. There you go. Oh. <laughs> we uh, missed the spot. <laughs> oh, I thought you said just behind the things. <laughs> well, yeah, and here. <laughs> the, the whole point is to bring this redstone back. Oh, well, you know. I, like, filled this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> that was terraforming. I don't know. Jeez. Okay, Scar. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't die quite that often. Ooh. I'll fully admit, I die quite a bit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it, do, do, do you want to summon another raid? And, uh... Oh, jeez. Don't, don't, no. 
<laughs> no. No. Don't don't want to think about that one. <laughs> Especially since I could have probably accidentally done that today. Oh, really? Well, Reyes was using my account, you see. Uh oh. <laughs> uh-huh. So you're gonna blame yeah. it on Reyes? You gonna blame it on Reyes on air? Uh yeah, she ain't here. Are you sure? <laughs> you don't know sure. that. I got my mod window open. <laughs> and unlike yours, mine updates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, although I think I got that. I think I got that figured out. Um, I, I think it was the ad blocker that I have installed that was actually blocking the script that runs the update. Ooh, some lapis. Mm hmm. Now, there's a lot of things I'll just leave in a wall. That's not one of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. I think. Right, Is that let's, even? Yep. Let's get some light back here real quick. All right, so. Um, all right. That'll be the depth that I need. Bring it back maybe here? Bring in items back. No. You <laughs> lots of crafters don't know how to act. <laughs> no. That's where we're going. Although if you got the... Um... The, the coral, we're, we're, we're as, as a community storage and for this project, we're low on sea pickles. And I know <laughs> I'm going to need another three. Pickles? Yep, sea pickles. To align the items. With a sea pickle? Yeah. Okay. With this one weird trick. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. No, I actually am being serious. <laughs> uh, for some for some odd reason, uh, sea pickles have a hitbox that uh, get that there before something spawns and eats my face while I'm doing the trench run. I'm waiting for somebody to whisper in my ear, "Stay on target." He said. A C pickle? Uh, I'm gonna need at least three, but we are we are desperately low in the community storage, and I suspect that both this is not gonna be the last time that we need sea pickles for a project like this, and Rayest is probably gonna want sea pickles uh, for I, I I dare not guess. And so it would just be a good idea. About to, sea pickle needs. <laughs> huh? I said she can talk to me about sea pickle needs after I finish putting down sea pickles of my own. Here's the three you needed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but it, I just spent I last week bundling sea pickles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw it in the background of his live stream, and I'm wondering if um, Impulse put together a machine to automate making uh, duplicating sea pickles. Or not duplicating. That that would imply that it's a, a hack and not a legit thing. I mean, all you do is bone mill a sea pickle that's on a uh, coral in a, in a basically. It's yeah, I, I saw I saw square, some but... rig that looked like a uh, dispenser above. Um, a dispenser above uh, some coral underwater. And I'm wondering if it's one of those things where it dispensed bone meal until it reached a certain point and then uh, and then retracted the water. Well, retracting the water is not going to do anything. You would, you would uh, need well, that, to, like, that was going to be one of the things. Them. I wasn't sure if that was going to make it pop off or not. No. You would need to sweep it with a, uh, I guess, a flying machine. I don't know. Maybe you could do it yeah, with a pistons. flying machine could probably work my pay grade but that'd be my get 
because I know you can just put sea pickles on the ground, so I don't imagine Although they would pop off if you, off move, if you the, move the water. Uh, I wonder if you move the floor, if it would do that, too. Like shake the ground? Yeah. Yeah, like you would for a flower hmm. farm. And just run it pretty much like you would for a flower farm. All right, I need... Hmm. This. Easy way to figure that out. Hold on. These guys. Ice. Dun 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 dun. No. That's <laughs> all I get told these no. days. <laughs> Let me see one of those pickles I just handed you. Yes, just like a flower farm. <laughs> <laughs> In your totally scientific opinion. <laughs> yep. There you go. Here's your pickle back. That sounded wrong, but it's on the floor. <laughs> you can give him the pickle. That was a horrible book. I never want to read it again. We do that, not speak that was about a, it. That was a, <laughs> you, you don't want to speak about it. You're not the one who had to teach a class based <laughs> on it. <laughs> No, I just had to take that class. <laughs> Taught by somebody in this room. <laughs> no, I don't think I was teaching it when you came on board. I don't know. All right. I was so taking see. it. It was horrible. Yeah, it, it, we, we both agree on that point. All right. Just um, give him the pickle. It's like, really? Can we come up with a better catchphrase? I know some sub shop owner, you know, made this, you know presentation but come on yeah. really <laughs> does the that principle really work in a you know this particular yes exactly oh, no. you, you're gonna you're gonna bring up fish <laughs> no and no you weren't volunteered for anything this time what no yet We'll figure something out for you. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> the volunteer quota hasn't been filled this week. Um, you want some blue ice? No, I got a shulker box full of blue ice. Yeah, so do I. I know it's negligible, but I mean, it's still faster than packed. Eh, it's not enough to make me want to use it. Right, Feeling um, okay? You 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 honestly don't care about that point zero one efficiency? You have a fever? Let me check your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, you come down with that. that they started that too. <laughs> what? Let me check your forehead. <laughs> yeah, contactless thermometer, so we can do temperature checks to make sure that nobody's bringing any sickness in. I guess they're not down with the sickness. Oh, 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 <laughs> goodness. But you, you don't remember that classic song? Oh, yeah, no, I like I that mean, song, but just the same. For, I mean, for, I don't for, think it needs to... <laughs> <laughs> don't think that was the appropriate time and place to bring it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so let me think about this. Okay, you I think about it. Bring... I might have to... Might have to bring this lower because I'm going to need the input hopper here. No, the <laughs> Feeling filter hopper the pickle here. nostalgia? No, we're, we're not. Trust me. No. <laughs> <laughs> they still doing that uh, when you came on board? Uh, they probably were. I don't they, know if they, they used that for a over. long time. <laughs> Alright. I need... I think it's, no, this is the exit here. What is this hole here for? Can I fill this in? What is this? Um, that goes into the tunnels that were here when we first started lighting stuff up. Oh yeah, so you got one of the plastic pickle pins. 
No. <laughs> it isn't so. Mm, plastic. Were you? Oh yeah. Uh, no, but anyway, uh, for for this wall, I was actually thinking we have a fully decked out enchanting room and some fishermen villagers. Hmm. Okay. So I'll leave I mean, that alone since we now. got a big old XP farm sitting here, it'd be nice to have maybe a couple of anvils, an enchanting station. And some villagers to trade with. So by a couple of anvils, you're talking about like 50 anvils in a line here with some sort of dispensing system when they die. I mean, well, I mean, if you think we got enough iron. Actually, have you seen our iron? We're on that last stack of three boxes. I got to I got to figure out what we're going to do about that. Can I start compacting it again? I mean, people got mad last time I did that. <laughs> yeah, because I, I didn't think it was going to be necessary. But if you want, if you want to, you can. <laughs> I seriously uh. didn't think it was going to be necessary. <laughs> That's a, I, I still well, got. I still got a. Uh, I don't know if I want to wrap the storage around further. If I want to turn the farm off, or if I just want to set a overflow that spits anything else into lava once we reach a certain point. Well, that just seems hateful. I mean, they're already dying in lava. We're just going to take their ashes and throw those in lava, too? Only past a certain point. You telling me that iron golem died in vain? Is that what you're telling me? Because I don't care. I was just asking. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, I also got distracted by uh, somebody collecting pickles. What? Who's collecting pickles? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, oh. Oh, boy. Were we still yeah. talking about the pickle pins? I mean... Uh, we were. Oh, hey, hey, family friendly channel. <laughs> hey, yo, you brought it there. I didn't say nothing. I asked for clarification. That's all I did. <laughs> oh. Walked all the way over there and forgot the, the stuff I originally came here for. Hoppers and droppers and rails. I may still make that coffee. <laughs> And torches, Peters, comparators, oh, dust. Yeah, okay, that ought to do it. <laughs> You'll mod yourself on, okay. All right. So if that's where the input's going to go, because this is going to come across this way, and no, um, <laughs> myself. Oh goodness! I'm going to need. I need some iron fence too. At some point, give me a minute to figure out how much I need. I'll just go get you some iron. <laughs> Not well, I like brought a bunch of iron with me. And we got some more here if we need it. Ah, okay. That two jump is pretty awesome when you're building stuff. <laughs> uh, yes, asterisk. <laughs> it Goodness. is awesome right up until the minute it isn't. You say that about the haste also. Uh, yes, because haste is also awesome, right up until it isn't. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. I'm just going to start making them all rejuvenation and see if you like that. Oh. Well, that adds a new wrinkle to this. Uh... That bedrock, or...? Yeah, that's yeah. bedrock. Get five already? How low are we? Yeah, no, that's five. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> how low did we go? <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't think we were quite this low. 
Um, so I should have known. Yeah. Well, How much room down did you need? Um, let's, uh... Because if you can't do it here, like where I'm standing, uh, then don't do it. Because this right here is where you're going to see Bedrock is five. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I might have to... Hmm. Wasn't this going to be interesting? Nope. Back to the creative server. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I, I definitely need to update my backup copy. Of course, now just so that I'm trying to double jump like I'm going to suddenly fly or float into the air. Um, all right. I wonder, I wonder how much of this has to be and how much I can... Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, hmm. All right. So, this is still the water level that everything's going to track on. This is where the filter is going to be. And it needs to drop down at least one more once it's filtered in. Um, yeah, and it's got to be a hopper. Because I can't lock a dropper. Um, What about if I take the dropper and put that put the dropper there? No, because that's going to be in the way of this. So that's just going to shoot it back into the, the water stream. Yeah. Can we move the water stream back one? We can move the water stream back one, but I'm kind of trying to not do that if I can. Oop. If That's we move it idea. back one, can't you leave the hopper where it's at? No, I'm sorry. Put the, the dropper where the hopper is and have the, the hopper here grabbing the item. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Well, honestly, if I'm going to do it that way... Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, we gonna hurt any of your redstone doing this? What do you mean? You're bringing a water elevator up right here. There's a lot of redstone here. Um, <laughs> we should be okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Maybe. <laughs> now that you get me looking at it, I'm just saying. I mean, the, this the is... hopper, the hoppers will be fine. The only thing I'm worried about is those repeaters right Eat. next to the lamps. Yeah. If the water hits these, they're gonna knock out these lines too, isn't it? means we bring it up. I wasn't too thrilled about that many hoppers floating around anyway. Um, no, no, I want to move it at least one more. Seriously, Torch. Why, why do you why do you make me stabby? Is this Nope, that's going to run us into the redstone. Is 
we can do a torch tower up to there. And we got the observers for it. Starting to wonder if over the top isn't about the only way we can pull this off. Nah, we can do it this way. We can do it this way. We got this. It might not happen on today's stream, but it'll it'll happen. I will make this happen. <laughs> I was gonna say it definitely ain't happening today. <laughs> <laughs> you good sir have twenty two minutes left to figure this math out. <laughs> uh, all right. Let, let me get back to what to do with what to how to manage it when I get it there. Anyway. Um. Oh. <laughs> that would still be a problem. I'm going to need block you get there. that? Because I didn't get that. Get what? Oh, okay, it's in the bottom dropper. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> you breaking stuff. I got stuck back there. Alright. So if I put that there. Alright. And I'll need Peter. Iron block. Wait, did I do this wrong? Oh. You do know that you're down inside the bedrock, right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. We can make this work. Mm -hmm. Power bedrock? Uh one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google that one. What did you miss? Uh <laughs> lots of puzzling. Lots of puzzling yep. and random uh, 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 uh. Let's go. And if we throw that. Oh, no. That works. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Yep. Google says it's like any other full block. Sweet. Yep. All right. Let's uh, put that there. Actually, or am I just going to bury this? All right, so that's the filter working. I just need... Do we do we actually have any shards? How many shards do we have? <laughs> I know we don't have shards down here. Don't... Yeah. That I know. But do we have any yeah. in the uh, community storage? First inclination is no, but I will go check. <laughs> All right. need like how many to make the filter system uh i need uh, a few that was not helpful <laughs> like what is a few yeah i try sometimes i even succeed oh oh that's beautiful i mean i totally measured that to precision perfection. We have six shards and not I'm sorry, we have five shards and nine crystals. 
Oh, that that ain't even close to enough. Yeah. <laughs> Well then, I probably don't want to do that anyway. Um, Medic says he might have some in the storage area near his pond. Pond. Yeah, we might also spend a little time killing some fishies. Well, I mean, we were looking to fill that quota for things to, you know volunteer server members that aren't here for I mean you know sounds to me like medic was volunteering just now what to kill the fishies yeah <laughs> no. uh, actually he's got 18 crystals and about four stacks of shards okay um grabbing a stack and a half of shards that's a little too much but it's easier to math it out. And... Uh, do we have uh, 41 cod? I'm also going to need 41 shards. Well, twice that. Cod. Yep, no, I got you some cod. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do have plenty of cod. Surprised you haven't been trading it with the fishermen over in the uh, trading hall. Yeah, funny that. Hmm. Uh oh. Why, why do I sense that there's uh, something going on there? <laughs> I'll leave that for him to explain next time he's here. There's another bouncer. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know about the fishers until you got the emeralds? I'm kind of surprised about that. I, I really would have thought that you'd uh, you'd have had a lock on those guys. All right. Here's a question. Am I going to need to get back down here at this redstone? Not bloody likely. All right, let me put one of those there, one of those there. Well, I, I just need 41 cod. Hey, uh, 41 my inventory's stacks? full. <coughs> Dude, no, my inventory is massively overstocked. I, I feel like a hermit. I mean, except for the part where, you know, I leave stuff in the wall. <laughs> yeah, no, but I feel that like that one piece of coal. Oh, geez. Hmm? Did I leave some coal? I thought I got all the coal. I'm not going to point it out. I'm just going to let it eat at your soul. <laughs> we'll be in bed later thinking, did I really leave that piece of coal? Okay. So. Oh, I probably shouldn't have filled in that gap on the other side of this guy. So the filter is going to work, and it's going to go into, yeah, these guys here. Then I need to get them up the tower. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. I really do.
the slime junk yeah is that where all the squishies keep coming ish 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 maybe I don't know uh -huh. seriously give it a rest man <laughs> what oh <laughs> we all know it's true. Be the same as if Rayest had, uh, you know, something off by one block. Because never mind, never mind. It, it probably did make it, um, but only once. Why did it only make it once? Because that needs to actually be a clock, not single dot. Why do I get the feeling that's not right? back to that already. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got the wrong clock on that. Um, all right, let's try. If I can even a clock. Hmm? Like a circle. So how does that work as a clock? Uh, the idea was that it pulled an output from here and then fed it back in, but I think I'm missing... Um, hang on. I need to get it to, uh, to pulse. Yeah, I want to say that there's a repeater that you need in there somewhere. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this, and I, I'm blanking out on all of them right now. This might be... Uh... Hmm. Well, I'm going to go start that coffee. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. That's going to go there. Glass blocks will go across here. That should be. That should be enough to manage that. Because uh, what I need. I could do a sticky piston, and will that power both of them? Hmm, that's an option.
Will that work as an elevator? Uh, I need some sticky pistons. Why is there a random... We can't put stuff in the right place. cobblestone supply in the redstone box. six pack I ended up with six pack all right that's enough to elevate them up this far I just need to not trigger lighting updates that's gonna move up one block so I can put one there I can put one there that's gonna go there and the glass will keep going Okay, coffee's brewing. <laughs> and the job has been fed. Yeah, I hear. I suspect if I blink, I'll miss it. for that yet. Well, I was checking to see if it actually come through. <laughs> Do you get that? Yeah. What I can't remember is which side I need the uh, iron fences on. Or glass panes. Yeah, I do need some Java emotes. Unfortunately, I can't do any emotes or anything special like that until I get enough people watching live and following and all that good fun stuff. Tell your friends. <laughs> if you want Jubba emotes. If that doesn't drive <laughs> drive subscription, I don't know what will. I mean, come on. <laughs> Who doesn't want some Jubba emotes? <laughs> what? I'm just playing with the dispenser over here. Yeah, I noticed that. I just can't remember which side this thing needed to go. Um, <laughs> of course. Okay, fine. I'll deal with that in a second. 
<laughs> Seriously, come on, man. One, two, three. Side did they get lined up on? That right side? Oh, mm. that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Well, I tried to watch, but you're in the way. Oh, of course it's gonna be that side. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, of course, of course, it couldn't be the easy side. All right. Uh, huh. Just need to pull this back one. No, 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 no. The problem is, is that it's all going to get caught on the soul sand here, and anything yeah. else I put for that elevator, it's going to get stuck on. So I got to push that back one, or bring this back one more. We can't push this back because then we're going to run into tearing up your redstone yeah so I may have to tear a bunch of this up and man which one's harder moving all of that around or just pushing this thing forward pushing what thing forward this thing this this contraption of mass storage um then things won't be centered right and I'll tell her asked it's your fault. <sighs> of course. <laughs> One block off, right? Just like I yep. said. <sighs> Goodness. Do you think she'd really notice? One block, really? Seriously? Seriously? Okay. You're asking me that question? <sighs> yeah, no, she'd notice. Never mind. I didn't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, medic. He did just ask that. Oh, goodness. Oops. That's a little bit more though. Bloody oath. Sometimes I hate trying to pick these things up. Alright, so that I definitely want to do. Well, I deeply ponder how I want to fix this. And is it always going to move that slow? Um, yeah, I was expecting it to move a little bit faster, too, to be honest. Did I put it's down the there in the corner. The packed ice? Oops. That's packed ice. Okay. But I think it's getting caught on the, uh... Do we need to put ice down instead of blocks there? Uh, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, because on this part of the the storage system back at the community center, um, it's coasting on the edge of the ice, and it's uh, air block off to the side. Yeah, no, put, uh, pushing the water back one more is not going to change that part. Plus, the pickles have to be in the water, in the source block, for the alignment stuff to work. I wonder if there's a way to get it to align to the left instead of to the right, but I'd have to go watch that Il Manga video again to see how the hitbox interacts with stuff. Why'd you take my pickles? I can see how it would align otherwise. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Alright.
Um, no, inventory. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody else had tossed a bunch of steak in my inventory, too. I didn't toss that steak. I was playing with the thing, and you picked it up. <laughs> Along with my, uh... There's your steak. What, your slime head? Yep, that's the thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't need the... I mean, if you're hungry, I've got plenty of steak. <laughs> I'm not that hungry yet. Yeah, because the, the nice thing is, well, here's the thing. Once we get this figured out for one of these, we'll have it set for all of them. that if we move the water back and we get a filter going there there you go now it's flowing um, I'm always worried when you say there we go oh the ice yeah because it, it, all it was was uh, air block in the main storage, so either having that as air or ice. Yeah. There's going to be one of the two. Can you put pickles Ow. on ice? Pickles on ice. I think you can put pickles on anything. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. That makes it even better. <laughs> Except we're going to have to move sounds... everything over one. Huh? <laughs> sounds like some sort of Disney cover album. What? Pickles, Pickles on Ice? On ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> That is, like, totally not what you said. Yeah, I was going to say. Here. <laughs> you might have said that out loud, but... Or you would have said that out loud if you were here. <laughs> okay. All right. So that, so, that, so that means we move... Will you stop tossing stuff down the ice road? I'm trying to work. That's why I don't have the guardian farm on. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Party helping. Pooper. You're not Party helping. Pooper. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. Wait. Okay, so we've got this part working. We're getting ready to move the water back one as soon as I make sure I can fit the filter in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That's going to go there. Trash block. I need a compare. I need dust. I need a torch. there. Oh, it's not going to fit here. Wait, if you just wanted it aligned to the other side, why didn't you just not use the pickles? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, oh no no no! Because it won't it won't it won't do what you it won't do it it won't do what you think it's going to do. Not like that. Um, well, then I had to think about it. I could probably just use a chest for alignment. You know what? That might be better. Um, I hate myself for tearing all this stuff up. That's okay. Just pick it back up right there. Just like flow over the top of the. It's riding the line between the block that the hopper is and the block that the ice is. So it's straddling that line. And the if you look at our main storage system, you'll notice that it's just hanging out half on the hopper line and half over the air. I was talking about water coming across here. Uh, water shouldn't be coming across here because we're going to have the, uh, the whatchamacallits, the iron bars running across there. Well, the iron bars were on the inside. Iron bars were on the inside because that's where the items were going. The iron bars are to keep the water from flowing, not from not flowing where we want. You got me wondering now. <laughs> I'm not overthinking this anyway. Where did the... Uh... I moved back. the line back because I thought we were... Yeah, because yeah, I thought we were too. Oh, wait, no. Not the pickles. Um, can you put a chest inside water? I guess you can. Hmm. Uh, yeah, because that's too far. And I think it's the chest that'll give us just enough. Because it's almost a whole block, but not entirely. I see a lot of people using ender chest for this sort of thing too, but I'm too cheap to do that. Takes care of my uh, questions. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know, I'm just gonna leave this all accessible over here. <laughs> just in case. Guys. Just in case. Just in case. Not that we'll ever need anything like that. Um, all right. So this first one is shards. I need a. You wouldn't happen to have an anvil on you? Uh, no. 
Go fish. Mm, yep. Hang on. I got enough to make one. Okay. Where's all the diorite? Nobody's going <laughs> to get mad if I use up all the diorite, are they? No, I didn't hear anybody say they were going to get mad, so we should be good. Filter. <laughs> Fish sticks packaging line. Sorry, I just now noticed that. All right, so that gets us that far. Then we take the water up this way. That puts nothing but... Mm -hmm. Some items might pop out next to the soul sand. But all that's going to do is either filter it back into the system or send it down the line, either of which is okay. Alright, um... Oh, jump boost doesn't cover that much. here, turns this corner, Speaking of old songs, does it make you want to jump? Jump? Although, that ceiling's got the... Uh Okay, no, no, no. We we can do the sea pickles here. <laughs> Fish stick packaging. <laughs> yeah, you like that? 
that was that's funny. Come on. We're getting into the uh, fun territory. All right, let's just put that there. Then put that there. There we go. And no. Yeah. So the idea is this then comes across Oh, I don't want to go in this way. Dug on it. Um, I don't want to go to figure out what you're doing. my fortune pick either. Um, trying to go quietly insane. Uh, except not so quietly. I need my silk touch pick. Now, the idea is I want it to come up the water elevator. So, in other words, so. Items get spat out over here. You know, the guardians mm -hmm. die. Everybody's happy. The items get spat out over here. They come down here. They go down this waterway. They hit that first filter. So if it's a shard, it goes into this water column up here. Okay. And without dying, without dying, without dying. Oh, close enough. Um, it goes across this hopper. Uh, the problem is... I wanted it so that way when the hopper is full, it circles back around and gets dumped back into the stream to go down to the next filter. So it gets kind of, okay. it gets a little convoluted, but. Um, well, are you going to have room to do that on all of them? Doesn't that's look one like of the things that I'm trying to space out. Doesn't look like it. Ah, we can make it work. Uh, I just think I gotta loop this around the other direction and not... I gotta loop it around to the left and not to the right. Looping it to the left means you're gonna come across the top of the... other one. Yeah, because I'm not gonna have enough room, am I? No. Alright. No, I can, I can make this work. I can make this work. I got this. I got this. But we are going to have to pull the ceiling up just a couple blocks. <laughs> um, but you're going to want to repeat this on every one of them, right? Um, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you have an Anon under glass. <laughs> Underground. That works, too. Yeah. I don't... Uh, but yeah, so... So this, yes, this is to to answer your implied question. This is going to get repeated at each one of these stations. So I bet if I loop it around this way, and instead of dumping it back in here, I just make sure that I run the water back down and drop it in here. I'll be okay. Um, I can make this work. I just need to start putting uh, some water in some of this. And get more glass. All things are solvable if you just throw enough materials at them. True enough. Glass there, put the glass there. 
this is going to go up. And I need to go seal that in there and that in there. And another ice. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. Come on. Hmm. Uh, we are going to need more sea pickles, though. Okay. Yeah, because that'll go there. Or am I going go to get there. the, uh... The what? So wherever am I going to get the bone mill? Yeah, yeah. Be nice if we had enough, uh... Enough places. Step at a time. Um. Um. I put that there for the moment. Slab's gonna stop there. Uh, we're gonna need another water block. That'll go here with three sea pickles, which will line it up on the inside, which will be fine. And then we need to get this back. seeing this work <laughs> I'm seeing this work you like vision okay well come stand where I am and look at this very next segment it, you don't have room for this guy here on this segment here I got this I'll take your word for it for now. Cool. Just, um... Cool. You, you, you follow the, uh... Let me give you some, uh... Repeaters and stuff. And you see how I got the redstone there? I Ish. <laughs> Ish. Well, then dig out the holes to start putting more redstone in. I can do that. <laughs> What is that, three all the way down? Uh, I don't know. You're asking me like I measured it? Do I look like a baker to you? <laughs> Earn a chef, get out of here. <laughs> and I'd hold my coffee. Yeah, kinda. Oh, got it. <laughs> well, that didn't help. Ah, uh, Aziz lights. Oh, 
come on. I <laughs> <laughs> All I'm trying to do is just drop this back down here. And I just want to... Uh, So, source block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if I should drop this down one more. The problem is, I'm gonna keep riding that inside edge. At some point, I gotta, I gotta push this uh, out more. Yeah. So I can do this, and then come down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I haven't been touching your sand. Now, Reyest, on the other hand, has been cooking up a ton of glass, and I don't know why she doesn't just buy him from the uh, villagers. She keeps forgetting that that's an option. Because uh, I came over here to work on lighting, and I saw the, the smelter array just going through a ton of sand. Like, um, our sand... Yeah, okay, so that that really is my main issue, but um, I need more chests. Probably unload some of this stuff in my inventory too. I definitely don't need the cobble. Uh, it turns out I don't need the rails after all, because I'm not working it like that. Uh, you ain't working it like that. Pretty much everything else is there. Might as well take the rest of the glass. I'll need some more of that. I need all the redstone components. I'm going to need one more sticky piston for each of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more sticky pistons. Maybe I am going to need all the cobble. I need, uh, I need lumber. What am I missing? Lumber? Iron? Oh, cobble. Cobble, cobble. Uh, how many did I say I needed? One, two, three, four, five, six more? Yeah, six more. I hate when I misjudge how much uh, planks I need. Well, I might end up needing those for, uh, making more chests anyway. Well, that should be good. Oh. 
jump. Jump. Oh. Yep. Mm hmm. I dug it all out. Have fun. <laughs> well, if you ever wonder why nothing ever made it to overflow storage, um, I'll be able to answer truthfully. <laughs> uh, did you see just how much there is? Uh, I'm afraid to look. Oh, yeah, that's that lake that we were avoiding the look of back there, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost all of that source. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> Guardian Spa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because there's even more back this way. Um. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't need to dig this part out. Yeah, this one here. You'll notice it's on the same side as the uh, redstone lamps, is it not? Or no, 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 no. Never mind. I get it on the other oh, side. It's on the opposite. One. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I did you're, these you're three right, over you're here. Right, you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, do I need to refill your coffee? <laughs> Maybe. Might you worried about running out of stone? I was worried about running out of lava. I was going to get buckets. I can go get some buckets. Come on. You tell me that it's just too... Just... No. Uh, fine. I'm going to go back to my water elevator. <laughs> gonna hit the pickle go down this way it's gonna stay on the inside though so I'll ride the inside good keep going forward I don't think it'll oh oh there appears to be a gap in the glass there soon enough. Alright, so... Sorry, drifting off there for a second. Yeah, yeah, I noticed the time. I wanted to at least get the uh, get a template down and something to work with. Uh, oh, so that'll go. And then we just put that there. 
to stop the water from uh, continuing on down. Or maybe... Hmm. Actually, instead of that, I need a fence gate. Yeah, I need a fence gate. need to get out of here. About that lumber I didn't think I needed. Now I'll steal some sticks from that project. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Freed up a whole three three spots in my inventory. I feel proud. <laughs> and now, if I did this right, that should go around. And around and down to the fence gate. Actually, I should probably go. No, oh, not there. There. mechanics of the passion. Definitely check out the storage area. Let me finish this part here. So that should run all around and around. And that's going to go over the fence gates here and drop them back down into the stream. Here. My only concern is that that is not going to keep them on the same edge that they were on before. Yeah. Alright. So that might mean... So what this could... Yeah. So what I need to do is I actually need to get them to align up on this edge here. And then ride that edge until they drop here. Hmm. That's going to be a tough one. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. We are pushing almost nine o'clock, though. Yeah. Yeah, and the morning started early, too. <laughs> and so does the next one. Yeah, that, too. Mm -mm. All right. So I at least got most of the idea. The, the big thing I need to do is look at the way Minecraft pushes items around and figure out how to get them to align such that they drop 
on that edge. That's the main thing. But we have a functional template so far, so I mean... Well, we got a functional, of a, couple of we get a functional template for everything except for getting items back into the stream when they overflow. Yep, yep. I'd say this is a win. Mm. Sure. It, it's a win adjacent. How about that? We'll, we'll give it that one. Yeah, yeah. It's winning adjacent. Because we're, we're, yeah, we're we're definitely past the uh, the point of cognition. I gotta put my redstone boxes away. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let me mute Discord real quick. And switch on over to the end credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. Hope you had fun. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. It also helps uh, grow the channel up. The more followers, the more Twitch will help promote it and all that good fun stuff. So help out, follow along. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. That way you'll get, act you'll get notified when replays like this one go live. And uh, it'll also help out the YouTube channel. And I, I, I need to get, I will be getting back into uh, posting regular produced episodes. You know, shorter, shorter looks without all the hemming and hawing in the middle. <laughs> and uh, so, so a, little, a little bit tighter and more, uh, more produced. Uh, that will be coming back very, very soon. I, originally, I was going to do it over the weekend, but I spent the weekend working on upgrading AnonJunior.com, the website there. It is uh, at the next major stage uh, of upgrades, so it's all behind-the-scenes stuff, futzy stuff. I will uh, write out a post either tomorrow while I'm waiting for the car to get fixed or this weekend on just what I did. So if you're into programming and you want to know what happened with that, there that is. But once uh, once that sort of stuff gets uh, finished, I'll get back to producing episodes. And also, if you'd like to help out, if you like what you're seeing and you'd like to keep your admin in some coffee, uh, you can also head to uh, live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can uh, tip, tip, donate, whichever way you want to think about it. And that will uh, that will at least help me keep uh, keep in coffee, and uh, and all that good fun stuff. So, uh, strictly optional, value for value. If you're getting value out of what you're seeing from Coffee Craft, and you'd like to give it a little value back, um, commensurate. I leave it up to you. And with all that, I say thank you, have fun, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>